As you all know, we're putting on this Wings Over Batavia Air Show and bringing it back after 28 years, is it? 25. 25 years since we've had an air show here. And we've got a really good lineup for the air show. It's going to be a day, evening, night show with fireworks. And we've got three airplanes we're mounting fireworks on, and they're going to fly through the fireworks with fireworks coming off the planes. And it'll be something like you've never seen before. So it'll be, it'll, it'll be a lot of fun here. Don't tell Shelly Stein that we're going to have fireworks and fire on the airport. She might get real worried about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, tell her all you want then. <laughs> don't tell Susie. Don't tell Susie. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Don't tell the insurance agent. <laughs> but uh, we've got a pretty good group of people lined up to come in and fly, and I got a really great group of people that are here tonight to help with promoting the air show, organizing the air show. We got Dennis Dunbar with us. He's out of Wisconsin. He ran Oshkosh for 10 years. He did Sun and Fun this year, and he does air shows all across the country. And he's the main one that's lining everything up and organizing us and telling me what to do and all that good stuff. <laughs> yeah. Then we've got Herb Gillum here, and he's doing our website and social media and all the, getting all the promotional advertising out and everything else to make this a really great show. The two guys that couldn't be here tonight, we've got Jeff Hack, who is Event Sprout. He's going to do handle all the ticket sales and everything. The tickets are all going to be online <clears throat> and scanned electronic to get in. And then uh, Jeff Shapiro is going to handle the parking. He's coming in to tell us how to do the parking. He's put together a plan for it, and he does huge air shows are all around the country. I didn't ever fathom that there would be a business built on parking cars, but <laughs> he, he's done it. So so I wanted to just thank you all. The air show is going to, we got a budget, a rough budget right now, about $600,000 to put this air show on. So all the community help that we can get would well, be greatly appreciated. We've raised about $100,000 to date. I've put in about 58,000 so far, I believe. Scott keeps reminding me it's somewhere around there right now. <laughs> so, but if we we just need the community help and you know from the businesses around and everything else to to make this happen, and this air show is going to be perpetual. That's our goal. Is we'll do this every year. So, yep. So with that, I'd like to introduce Dennis. Thank you, sir. He's the man of the hour. <laughs> I don't know about that. Um, so Pete used the word community a couple times in there, and that's what really these air shows are all about, is community. And he gave me a lot of credit for being the air show director and all that stuff. But I look at myself more like y'all bowlers out there. Me neither. But when I go bowling, like, <laughs> I ask for those bumpers to go in the gutters, right? And I'm kind of like those bumpers because I'm just trying to help the local community keep the ball going down the alley straight. And it really is a community event put on by all the work, of all the volunteers and everybody here local that's doing. So I've never really compared myself to bumpers on a bowling alley before. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. Um, it is a community event, and I think they're important these days. Um, you know, we're seeing around the country community events in general kind of going away. And here we're bringing what was a strong tradition in Batavia back after 25 years. And it's something I think the community can get proud of. How many of you have been to an air show before? Awesome. How many of you have been to a night air show before? All right, there's a couple hands up there. All right, good. Um, wait, may I ask, where did you see the night air shows? You're the only one. Oh. Oshkosh. At Oshkosh. Yeah. What'd you think? Oh, it's wonderful. All right, good, good. I probably did that. Um, <laughs> what about, and the bartender back there has seen a night show before. Oshkosh, all right. So, 
Um, they're exciting. Look, there, there are a couple other air shows in the community or in the region. Um, we're not trying to compete with that. We're entirely different. It's really about entertainment, inspiring. Um, Pete mentioned we're going to start in the daytime. We're going to go in through twilight and into night, culminating in this big pyro musical. You see some of it behind me here on the video. Um, we're, you're going to see things in the show that most of you haven't seen before. Um, we have, like Pete mentioned, some of the best performers in the business as far as entertainment goes, but they're also, these are the folks that practice and make a living out of this. They're as safe as we can get in this business, and that's important to us, too. Um, we have um, this show, we want to inspire folks. I went, when I went to my first air show, I was 10 years old. I didn't have, I had an uncle who flew B-25s in World War II, but he never talked about it. So I had no aviation in my family. And I went to my first air show, and I was so inspired by what I saw that I knew right then I wanted to be a pilot and I wanted to put on air shows. And I think having those goals kept me, like, track and true, you know, growing up as a kid and able to do these things now. One thing I always say about air shows is, you know, it's, it's hard to find heroes these days because a lot of times you look at celebrities, sports world, those kind of things, they have a tendency of letting us down right? But the folks you're going to meet at the air show and your kids are going to meet and the kids in the community are going to meet here. They're true heroes that are great role models and folks that aren't going to let those kids down. And they're going to set those kind of lasting memories and maybe spark that passion in them that's going to take them places in the future. So maybe one day they can compare themselves to bowling alley bumpers. Uh, <laughs> but uh, uh, it really is great. I appreciate y'all coming here to consider being sponsors of the show and those who have already committed, we appreciate it. Um, I think you're going to find yourselves being more than just sponsors. You're going to take ownership in this event. You're going to feel part of something special when this air show is over. Um, you're part of, a, part of a team that's really bringing something back to the community and that's something to be proud of. So um, we're going to have a good time doing this and thank you all for being here. I want to introduce Eve, who's going to talk to you a little bit more about the air show and some of the opportunities for it. This is such a great turnout. Um, Pete, thank you for having us. Pete and Doreen, thank you for having us in your hangar. Um, Dennis, thank you for that great introduction. Um, now that Dennis has us all jacked up and excited for this air show, let's talk about it. Um, I mean, think about this. Our, the last air show held at this airport was 25 years ago. Where were all of you in 1998? Just think for a I minute. I was here at the airport. Yeah, I was too. <laughs> um, I'm going to pick on the house deck boys. Where, are you guys hiding? Where are you? Back there. How old were you at the last air show? Seven and eight. And they said that they remembered coming to this air show. Well, now they have a three-year-old, a three-month-old, and a four-month-old that they're going to get to bring to the air show this year. So um, it's, it's coming around, you know, and, and something to remember about this generation of young families is they're living with COVID hangover. We all are, right? A lot of things, we lost a lot of things during COVID, and one of those things was, was festivals and gatherings and family activities, and, and we're trying to bring it back. So this air show is a, a step back from that. It's a great family activity. It's going to be wonderful for our community. Um, we're all really excited about it, and I think the community is too. So how can you be involved? First of all, we're going to need a lot of volunteers. <laughs> we're anticipating having between 10 and 20,000 people at their show each day. That's a lot of people. So we're going to have to have a lot of bodies on the ground to help us move all those people the way they're supposed to move. Um, the second way, and, and we will need volunteers beforehand as well to help organize. So there's a lot of different ways you can get involved as a volunteer. Um, the other thing we need is we need people to spread the word. You know, we have um, a marketing firm that's doing a great job and they're, they're creating some great promotional activities for or, um, materials for us. But really the best way to get people at an event is to talk about it. You know, if people hear about it, word of mouth, they're going to show up. So please talk to people about this event. Put it on Facebook. Talk, you know, talk about it at work. Let people know about it. And um, the third thing we need are sponsors. As Pete said, this is, air shows are not cheap. 
they, they cost a lot of money. And especially this first year, we don't have seed money yet. This is our first year doing this after 25 years. Um, there's a lot of revenue that will be brought in the day of the air show, but we have to wait until the day of the air show to get that revenue. So, so we need uh, your help to, to fund the, the preparations for this and to make this really a, an amazing event. Um, because it's our first year back, it has to be perfect. It has to be exceptional. People have to talk about it. And, um, and we want to make this a continuing event. And so the, the, um, it, it's a lot easier to do that if we have the funding. <laughs> so um, what, what are we going to be using your sponsorship money for? Everybody, you know, that's important. You need to know what we're spending your money on, right? Um, First of all, we, we are hiring world-class performers. The performers that are coming to this air show are the same performers that are at Oshkosh, Sun and Fun, the, the biggest air shows in the world. They're going to be here. Um, that's not, that's, that's expensive. They, we have to pay them. They don't just show up out of the kindness of their hearts. <laughs> Each performer charges around $15,000 to perform. And then on top of it, we pay, have to pay for their hotel and their car and their travel expenses and their food. So, so that adds up. We have about 15 acts right now on the, on the books. It's, I think that's what we're sticking to. We're not adding to that, but, right? Are we adding to that? <laughs> <laughs> we might be adding to that. Listen, <laughs> nobody can control these guys. Um, the other thing is, is, you know, we have to make it a safe and enjoyable event for everybody. And, um, we've been doing a lot of research. Dennis has a lot of experience, and, and we've heard that there are four T's that we need to take care of. And these four T's, it's nothing that you'll notice if they're done right, but if they're not done right, you'll notice. Okay, they're traffic, okay? Nobody wants to be sitting in their car getting in or out of parking lots. Um, trash, nobody wants trash flying around. Uh, toilets. <laughs> These guys are laughing because I can never remember the four T's. <laughs> I'm pausing. Toilets. You gotta have enough enough of those going around. And tickets. 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 Yes, thank you. <laughs> the tickets have to be accessible. They have to be easy to buy. And and people have to. It helps if people have them in hand before they come to the to the show. So those are the four T's. We're um, making sure that we have the right people on board to address those four T's so that that nobody notices them. We don't want anybody to notice those four T's. And, uh, and finally, we are, like I said, we're, we're, we're bringing in the right people to make sure that this show is professionally run and safe and enjoyable for everybody. So that includes um, Dennis. We have um, Herb, Herb. Herb Gillum. Is, where are you, Herb? Right here. Hiding. <laughs> There's Herb um, with marketing. Um, We've, we've hired the, the right people for, for the job to make sure that this event is, is perfect. So um, what do you get out of your sponsorship? So first of all, you know, with every level of sponsorship, you get a certain number of tickets to attend the event. You get access to, to a chalet. Um, and it's a really easy way to, to host an employee or a customer appreciation event. If you're at one of the levels, there, there are some um, higher levels where you get two days of tickets. That's a really easy way to have, you could have an a employee appreciation day one day, and then the next day can be a customer appreciation day. Um, we do all the work for you. It's, you know, you just show up for, for those higher levels. You do have to, with the higher levels, you'll get your own chalet. You can also, you also do book your own caterer, but we can give you a list of approved caterers and, and help with that as well. Um, and the nice thing is, is, you know, if you want to have for your employee, you know, you have an employee appreciation day and it's a little less formal, maybe you have pizza and wings, and then the next day you can kind of go all out for your customers. You know, it's really, it's, it's pretty, uh, it's up to you how, how big you want to go with it. So um, the other thing you get is you get promotion for your business. All of our sponsors will get um, logos on our website, you'll get logos on our other advertising materials, and um, if you're a $50,000 sponsor, you'll get PTA announcements throughout the, throughout the event. We'll be announcing your name over the uh, PA. Why did I put T in there? No, you're not, you're not getting announced That's at the, the PTA meeting. <laughs> That's not happening, I'm sorry. Only on the PA. 
<laughs> if you want us to announce you're the PT, you can. <laughs> <laughs> um, How's he your ride playing, too? Yes, that was the other thing. Twenty-five and fifty thousand dollar levels. You get a ride with an air show performer. Has We're anyone done. ever done that before? It's you have. It's not an easy thing to do. You you can't just like buy it. You can't just show up and say I want to buy a ride with an air show performer. You have to you have to get one through a sponsorship like this. Um, and it's way better than sneaking into Pete's hangar and sitting in one of his planes. Please, no, no. <laughs> I've never also done that. Have the opportunity for the higher level sponsors that. Luke Akins is going to be here. He's a world-class parachute guy. He's the one that jumped out of the plane at 25,000 feet with no parachute, and <laughs> did the plane swap and all that. But he's going to bring a tandem, Greg, and you'll get to pick yourself or one of your employees or whatever to go up and do a tandem jump with him down the side. Why? Sponsorship. I have um, copies of contracts here, so you can you can look at them. You can fill them out tonight if you'd like for the different levels. Um, if you want to take a copy with you, you can you can do that. But we will be here with the, with contracts. If anybody wants to to fill one out tonight, I, I'm here to assist. Um, if you've already provided your sponsorship and you want to. Go up to the next level now that you know all of the great things you can get for it. <laughs> we can do that. I can accommodate that. <laughs> we can't bring you down a level. That's not allowed. <laughs> so. Yeah, this is like Walmart. No refunds. No refunds. <laughs> no refunds. <laughs> what's, the low, what's the lowest level? The lowest. Oh, thank you. So our, our lowest level, you know, people see the, the brochure and they're like, $50,000. That's a lot of money. And it certainly is. We have sponsorship at a thousand dollar level where you get four tickets you get entry into the general's tent which has we provide the food and the beverages and you get VIP parking so um, that's a really nice way to do it if if you don't have employees or customers that you want to bring and you maybe just want to bring your family you know it's it's nice to have that VIP parking in the in the chalet to sit under um, you know when the sun's out and the food so, does anybody have any questions? Does anybody have questions of Dennis and Pete or <clears throat> I got just a little more I want to talk about. You know, I forget when it was, but one morning I got up what I thought was early, but it wasn't near as early as where Tim was. And called Tim and said, you know what? I was thinking, we, we ought to do an air show, bring an air show back to the stadium. I think it was like three o'clock in the morning <laughs> so, and he said yeah he says when I when I get up I'll call you <laughs> <clears throat> but you know my my inspiration or my aspiration is to bring this air show back to Batavia hinges a lot on the kids and introducing kids to aviation you guys know I do the aviation camp every year for 10 ninth and 10th graders and we bring them in here and we fly them every day and do ground schools and all that. And a lot of the community participates in that. You know, we get free meals for the kids, donated by the local restaurants and everything. And these kids are logging somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 to 22 hours in their log books. They're actually flying with flight instructors and they're getting a lot of time. You only, you only need 40 hours to get your license and they leave here with 22 hours in their log book. And we teach them, you know, I take them up in the extra. And by the end of the week, I've got every one of them kids able to do an aileron roll in a loop by themselves. They go out and do, you know, turns on the pylons. We all do stalls and spins and all kinds of stuff with them. But, you know, the kids are what my real aspiration is in this. And the thing that with the air, with the air show that really enticed me was you go and talk to... Michael Fritz, Bill Fritz's son, you know. He's a test pilot in the Air Force now. And what got Michael interested in flying and going to the Air Force and do that was the air show here at Batavia. 
uh, Ray Sinfrini's son, same way. He got inspired by the air show here in Batavia to go in and learn how to fly helicopters and become a pilot in the Army and everything, and now he's, he's flying private, too, or commercial for outside the service. <clears throat> so that's what the air show to me is all about, is giving these kids exposure to it and then the opportunity to realize that this is something that they can do. You know, Doreen's got a niece, and she's, uh, she's pregnant now, but she flies F-16s in the Air Force. Mm -hmm. She just went to the Pentagon for a year and a half under some general. They just moved back to Wisconsin. They stopped here last week. After she has the baby, she's already got a slot at Wisconsin, and she's moving on to fly the F-35s. Mm -hmm. you know? And that was all brought about by Doreen taking this young girl to the air show at Oshkosh when she was young and got her really interested in flying. So I really believe that we can mold these kids and give them the, the opportunity to realize that, hey, if this is something you want to do, it's, a, it's fully achievable. They can go and do whatever they want. They can fly F-16s, F-35s, helicopters, whatever. <clears throat> but just getting them introduced to it and exposed to it is is a big thing. So that's my inspiration for doing this air show. <laughs> so, okay, this is just like the auctions. What do they say? Bid often and bid high. <laughs> believe it or not, a long time. And I, I love it, truly love it. I grew up going to Oshkosh every year. And Dennis and I worked together at Oshkosh for 10 years. And um, you've got such a great community here. I've really fallen in love with it. And, and you need this air show. I just think it's going to be a lot of fun. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm only 39. <laughs> Any questions? Any questions or? Oh, Charlie. So, in addition to the uh, flying, is there also a flight line where kids can get up to uh, the, some personal? The reading? gates are going to open up at two o'clock. Mm -hmm. The flying is going to start at five. And there's going to be static displays, and all the performers are going to be available to the general public, for, especially for kids to come up and have another one. We've got a couple of them, Mike Boolean, who's a world famous aerobatic air pilot. He's going to come in on Tuesday or Wednesday and be available to go and. He said at their school, but I don't, I don't know if we'll have any schools open at that time. <clears throat> but they're all willing to go and talk to the kids.